Hi everyone. Kim Crow Art here. I found this really cool bottle. So I'm going to do an acrylic pour on it. I'm trying to get the lights right so you can see it, but can you see this? Like this is a cool bottle, right? So it may or may not have had an alcoholic beverage in it, but it's a really cool bottle. So I want to do this with grays and whites. My mom's building a new house and all her colors are grays, she says. So I'm using pewter, um, London Fog. These are all art mines. So gray wool, which is this one. If you can see it, it's really light. Can you see? See gray wool? Maybe you can see it better in the cup. And this one I think is London Fog. I'll just stir that up a little more. And I mixed one part paint to one part Floetrol. Whoops. And then I used this Color Obsessions, Color Obsessions Pewter. And I mixed it with house paint and polyacrylic. Um, probably one part polyacrylic to two parts uh, non-tinted house base paint and um, one part pewter powder for that. And then I have some white and um, Artist Loft Gray Metallic, which is right here. So, let's see what happens. What all do I have? Okay, I have gray wool, London fog, gray, slate gray, pewter, silver, and one more. But I don't know what it is. I don't know. White, gray, silver, gray. Oh, yeah. White, gray, silver, London fog, gray wool, and pewter. There we go. Now we got it. So I'm going to start off with this just regular house paint enamel. And I have no idea if this is going to even stick to this bottle. I've never done this before. I've never poured over glass like this. So I don't know. I thought about spraying like spray adhesive around the glass. I don't know if that will work. So we're just going to see what happens. This will be a learning experiment, which pretty much all of my videos are learning experiments. So we're going to start with this regular house paint. I'm just going to make a puddle right there. And then I'm going to do the pewter. The gray metallic from Artist Loft. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I believe so. I believe so. Beautiful. Have a big mess to clean up, but I have this beautiful glass. And I'll show 
with you. Close up. Oops. There. Can you see it? I'm trying to. this really cool bottle so I'm going to do an acrylic pour on it I'm trying to get the lights right so you can see it but can you see this like this is a cool bottle right so it may or may not have had an alcoholic beverage in it but it's a really cool bottle so I want to do this with grays and whites my mom's building a new house and all her colors are grays she says so I'm using Pewter, um, London Fog. These are all art mines. So gray wool, which is this one. If you can see it, it's really light. Can you see? See gray wool? Maybe you can see it better in the cup. And. This one, I think, is London Fog. Just stir that up a little more. And I mixed one part paint to one part Floetrol. Oops. And then I used this Color Obsessions, Color Obsessions Pewter. And I mixed it with house paint and polyacrylic um probably one part polyacrylic to two parts uh non-tinted house base paint and um one part pewter powder for that and then i have some white and um artist loft gray metallic which is right here so, let's see what happens. What else do I have? Okay, I have gray wool, London fog, gray, slate gray, pewter, silver, and one more. But, I don't know what it is. I don't know. White, gray, silver, gray. Oh yeah. White, gray, silver, London fog, gray wool, and Peter. There we go. Now we got it. So I'm going to start off with this just regular house paint enamel. And I have no idea if this is going to even stick to this bottle. I've never done this before. I've never poured over glass like this. So I don't know. I thought about spraying like spray adhesive around the glass. I don't know if that will work. So we're just going to see what happens. This will be a learning experiment, which pretty much all of my videos are learning experiments. So we're going to start with this regular house paint. Now I'm just going to make a puddle right there. And then I'm going to do the pewter. The gray metallic from Artist Loft. The gray wool. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I believe so. 
I believe so. This is what looks good. See that? It's beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see this when it dries because it really does look good. A lot better than it looks on the video from what I can tell from looking up here and looking down. I think this is a better technique. And how we originally started. Don't you? This looks a lot better. Gorgeous. Wish everyone could see the side that's over here is like the prettiest side. See all the sides? Very pretty. I'm doing that left handed. Sure. Why not? Well, I love it. I think it turned out great. art I made this bottle yesterday and did a video and you should have seen it and now I'm going to add a little bling to the top because I kind of want to hide this part so you know thought I might let you join me oh look my glass is in the shape of a heart I'm using a little bit of this reflective fire glass. I'm just kind of hot gluing it on and then once I get kind of the bling on here I will um, paint resin. It's really pretty on one side and then the other side is just glass but beautiful and um, that's where I got it so just so you know but I'm going to add more of this quarter inch around the top and then some of the half inch maybe around here and then I haven't decided yet, but I also have like these little clear crystalless crystals. And I thought I might put these around the bottom. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see if it's too much or if it looks crazy or whatever. But I'm going to do the top for sure. Kind of dress that up. Make it really pretty. And I'll show you the final product when I get done. I don't want to bore you with all of my hot glowing. So, anyways, thanks for looking. And I'll let you see the final product. Thanks. Peace. Love. Understanding. Okay, so um, I have all of this glass on the tip of this bottle. So you can see, it looks pretty cool. Look at the reflection. So now I will take a brush and resin and resin over the top of this acrylic poured bottle. And we'll see how it looks. Thanks for watching. Okay. Okay. So I am, <laughs> I had an itch. I'm going to um, mix up this resin to pour on this bottle. Now that I have all of the glass on it, it looks so shiny and pretty. So 
I was explaining that my mom's colors are grays. So there's gray wool, London fog, um, white, and pewter. So anyways, I'm gonna mix up some resin. Probably like three, maybe two ounces. I'm just measuring by the lines on this cup. What should be exact. Right? Right. My teeth look purple. Could be because of this. You know, I love red wine, a good cab sap, but it makes your teeth look ugly, especially on a video when you already don't have any makeup on. But hey, that's not the point, right? that's a little more so I need to add a little more this is why you measure in two separate cups this is why because if you try to do it both in the same cup this could happen and you wouldn't be able to know it so resin hardener so let's do this Can you see that make sure that's level There we go. Now we're getting somewhere, right? All the people are screaming at me going, here's that measuring cup. All I do, you know, like for bigger things, but you know, trying to get this much resin. So there you have it. Oh, thinner. Yeah, that was right. Thinner first. And then I'm going to add just a little color obsessions. Um, actually, I take that back. I said that earlier that I was going to use color obsessions like ghost white. I think I may use this KS resin that is a ivory. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? I guess this should be a live video so that you could tell me what to do. But see, I don't trust myself enough yet to do a live video because I need to edit out some of my stupid stuff, you know, when you make stupid mistakes or say stupid stuff. Well, I couldn't edit that part out because that's a regular thing. But however, <laughs> however, <laughs> you know, you still want to take, want to be careful. So here, so here is the Color Obsessions Ghost, Ghost White. And here is the KS Resin Ivory. So, I don't know. I think I'll probably do this. But let's mix this up first. That's what happens. So, um, I hope the light doesn't blow this out too much. But it's really cool. Like I said, my mom's house color. She's building this new house. And all of her colors are grayish. Like, everything is... And, and my mom is, um, let me just say, she is like gold and Chanel and she's not farmhouse. So it's a fine line really um, between farmhouse, which is the latest, most trendiest thing, especially in Texas, and kind of her style. So it's been hard for me to match up like some bling and some farmhouse color, so to speak, if you stay neutral and monotone. Um, and yet not be too, I don't know how to say, um, flat, yet blingy, but not too blingy because she's getting away from the gold and the flowers really and all of that and going to um, more, um, y'all, I don't have a word. Um, it's grayish, that's what she says, it's grayish. But it's, it's a real fancy grayish, I guess, so to speak. Because y'all, I'm the opposite. I'm a hippie. I mean, there's gotta be like a million colors for me. And um, I'm texture, color, all that stuff. And my mom is the opposite. <laughs> but she's so classy. And so I'm just trying to make some really beautiful art that she will want to hang in her brand new home um, and be proud. You know what I mean? So, cause all of my art in the past has been a little too much for her. Let me just say except for some photography, so. But um, 
Anyways, there we go. We're going to try this. I'm going to get all this ready. I hope you guys can see. I'm mixing this up. It just makes it just a little bit more. And then I will pour in this and color obsessions ghost and see what happens. I do have some glitter, you guys. You think I should add some? I don't know. It might be too much, right? With all of this reflective fire glass because goodness gracious, y'all, this looks like it looks like diamonds, right? And if you can guess what kind of bottle this is, leave it in the comments. But this is so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And um, even though this is the clear reflective fire glass, I have the silver and I have the clear, and then I think I've got another color, but, it, but, some, but it's pretty warm. You know, I don't know if you can see the difference between the coolness of this bottle and the warmness of this glass. So I'm going to have to try to meet that up somewhere in some of the glitter or the reflectiveness or something because this is too flat, abstract, and this is too blingy and warm. So there has to be, you know, a meeting in the middle, so to speak. So that's what I'm going for here, is to try to bring these two together so that it really works out, which I think this should help us. I probably should use those cups because that's where I had the other resin, and that would probably not be a good idea. So I'll use one of these. And then I will pour that. And I have these. You can't see them. I have these. It's like sea glass, clear sea glass that I thought I might put around the bottom of the glass, so to speak. Like after the resin is on and all that, but that may be too much. You see what I mean? Maybe too much. So it's out there. It's out there for the sake of it. For me thinking about it so i can look at it and think about do i need this do i not need this you know what i mean so here we go here we go here we go here we go let me start this up a little bit more and this is not stone coat resin i'm a firm believer in stone coat resin and that the, let me tell you something stone coat resin has no clue who i am nobody has a clue who i am i mean i got like two subscribers you know what i'm saying however they really don't but um I've been messing around with resin for months and months and months and I've used like every brand and I've said it before in other videos like trying to save a little bit of money and I'm telling you I'm telling you stone coat is the best stone coat art coat it has the longest working time that I've found especially for paintings and big pores and things that you really want some more manipulation time to really work out your design and your thought process and all of those things that comes with your creativity and your art. And um, this is KS resin and it's, it's really good. I'm not dissing KS resin. I like it. And especially, you know, we'll see, I don't have any casting resin, which is probably what I should be using for this. But I mean, Hey, I got this idea at the last minute, you know, it's like a wild hair, as we say in West Texas. Um, so, I don't know. We're just going to see what happens. But, we'll try it. That's why I'm going to brush it on. And I have two choices. I can use this brush. This is why you guys are learning with me. Because we are flying by the seat of our pants, let me just tell you. I have this brush. And then I have this sponge brush. You know, 29 cents or whatever they are. But this is a pretty good brush. So, I don't know for sure if I want to resin it. So I'm going to try this first and see how it goes. And then we'll know. This is this color, Obsessions. Is that not gorgeous? Can y'all see it? It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, but I think I just need a drop because I really want it to be really, really, really transparent because I really want the colors of the bottle to show through. I just want, I just want a little bit of bling to match up with the bling on the top, you know? That's, that's my goal. What we're really working for here. So, let's see what happens. Let's see. It looks pretty. I really hope that's not too. What do you think? I mean, can you see the darkness? Okay, wait, let me go. So now you can kind of see it has some darkness, right? So 
I don't know. And I was going to sand some of these little knobbies off, but... I'll probably learn my lesson. Not that I should have done that. But... I was just going to try this. I have no idea what's going to happen or how to even do this. But I think I'm going to do it this way. I thought about putting it upside down. You know, I don't know. But I am going to start off with pouring some of this clear resin at the top to just kind of get through these cracks and kind of seal a lot of this glass. I mean, I hot glued this glass in, but, you know, it might just seal some of that in. We're going to let that happen. And it might give us a little more surface, you know, to hold on to, to hold on to. So let me put this around, all around this top, and then I'll go down the sides a little with this clear. But I think that would pretty much hold all that glass, you know, from the top. But let's just do this and put this on. Just a little bit of this clear coat. I really think the sponge brush is the best deal because, or the best option deal, y'all, I'm from Texas. I have a PhD, let me just tell you, it's not in grammar. Um, Try this. There we go. There we go. Now I'm going to try this clear. It already, you know, helped a lot. Perfect. Okay. So let's put a little clear. I mean, I don't know how to even, if I should just pour it, or put it on with the brush. We'll try both. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is a great, 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 great idea. I'm telling you. Lost a piece of glass. We'll have to find that later. Oh, a little piece fell off, so we'll have to see where that was. I have a feeling it was right there in that corner. Yep, this is what it needed. This just brightened it right up, you guys. And the glitter is perfect in this color obsession. Color obsessions. What's wrong with my S's? I really have only had one glass of wine. Um, it's perfect for brighten, brightening. I'm from Texas. White, tight, right, light, bright. Brightening up this face. Perfect, actually. Pretty perfect. I must admit. I don't know if I should do this on the bottom or not. <laughs> it's probably kind of stupid. But I'm sitting it on this wax paper. But I guess. I'm going to redo that. But there you go. You can see. Perfect. Ta-da! Thanks for watching! Okay, so on this bottle, this glass had a warm tint. So what I did was, got my gold alcohol ink, and I went through and just touched some pieces, little spots along the edges with a little bit of this gold. And it really made a big difference. So tomorrow when it's daylight, I'll show a better video of the end result that it just really made it all come together by adding that little bit of gold. So, pretty cool.